Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use meta tags in Dreamweaver. So to get started I'm going to be talking about what exactly meta tags are. So I'm going to show you over on Firefox. If we go to Google and we type in a website, and I'm just going to type in my website. Okay. So you can see that up comes a bunch of different search results and right here is my main domain. And right underneath the search title that I've set for the title of the page, you can see that there's this information and it comes up as a description. It says River City Graphics aims to bring free high quality video tutorials to beginners and professionals and then it just keeps going with some other stuff. Now this comes up because I specifically set it in the metadata. So the search engines bring in this data and they can search this to help um, people that are on their search engines find your information more clearly so it helps one give a brief description so it's more likely that this will be clicked on in search engines and it also helps the search engines to provide your website in search results so along with this description and um, the keywords meta tag then you'll be able to show up in search engines more frequently so if you click on this um, link here and you go to view page source. You can see exactly what I'm talking about right here. Um, in the header I've taken and we have meta description and meta keywords um, and I'm just going to show you how you can go through and create those uh, adequately. So we're just going to head over to Dreamweaver and I'm just going to create a mock site real quick. So we're just going to go and create a new HTML. So we're just going to set it up um, such as you might have it um, for your website. So we're just going to create something real quick. So in design view I'm just going to insert a table. We'll make it three rows, one column, thousand pixels. That's fine. So then for, we'll just make it, um, let's call it beach side attractions. And then we can take and go over to the code and we can put a header on there. Let's make an H1 tag in order to make that bold. Okay, close that out. You can see what it did over here. And then we'll just add in uh, some text. I'll just paste in some uh, lower MISPM text that I copied earlier. It's basically just default text to mock up um, what something's going to look like. So it's perfect for this situation. And then the middle table um, piece, we're just going to take and insert an image. And we'll just throw in, uh, I have this, uh, we have a beach image. Beach image, okay. All right, so we can just take and put beach on there. All right, click OK. All right, there you go. So you can see that our little mock site. So now the importance of this is if we just upload this right now, um, sure, uh, the search engines might find um, our website based on this content uh, because I'm sure it would be filled with things about beachside attractions. But in order to give it an extra oomph um, and the tags and the descriptions are shown in other places, we're going to go over and we're going to add some meta tags. So we're just going to go over the code view. And then up at the top in the head tag right here, you can see all the head data. We're just going to take, and I'm just going to separate that out so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to space it out around it. So you can see that Dreamweaver automatically uh, puts some things up in here. And we have this title, and if you haven't been setting a title, you can either do it up here, or you can do it right here, and we're just going to take and put in the same thing. So that's probably even more important than the meta tags themselves. Uh, make sure that you have a title set. But then the meta tags are probably the second most important thing. Um, as far as search engines go, besides having great content already. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to have an open bracket. We're going to type meta space name, and then it equals two quotes. Inside of those quotes, we're going to write description. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to have a space after that, and we're going to type content equals quotes and then space slash close bracket. All right, so now that we have description um, and content set, I'm just gonna copy this and we're just gonna paste it underneath. So now for the name for the second one, we're just going to put in keywords. So these are both things that um, Dreamweaver recognizes. So the description is, of course, the description. And the keywords are like tags, like on YouTube when you upload a video. You put some tags um, which help people find it. And it, what YouTube is doing is it's actually taking those tags and it's making them into um, the keywords. It takes them and puts them right here in the content part and helps the search engines find them as well as other people on YouTube. So um, it just shows that main uh, major websites are also using this um, and it's quite important in search engines. So what you want to do when you're trying to come up with a description um, and keywords is come up with uh, words that are 
very often seen in your content. So if we were writing about beachside attractions, we might say um, like there are many fun and exciting attractions to, to discover while at the beach. Learn about some of my favorites from my vacation. Okay, so now we have some uh, basic text there for our description. So now what we've done in this is we have, um, like we've got discover and we've got beach and we've got fun and exciting attractions, we've got vacation, um, words that people might be searching in um, in the search engines. And it also provides for an interesting description that people will see when they come to your link. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put some keywords. So what you wanna do with keywords is come up with anything that people might be searching to find beachside attractions in this case. So you might have like beach side attractions. And in between these, you wanna make sure you put a comma. Um, sometimes you want a comma, sometimes you just want a space. I like to just put a comma there. Um, it, it really doesn't matter, I don't think, but um, just you can put a comma in between. So we're gonna have beach side attractions. Spell that right. Attractions. Boat, let's say family, water, ocean. Fun, sunny, uh, food. I don't know what else. What else would be associated with beachside attraction attractions? Let's put uh, summer. All right. So I think that we're pretty good on that. Now, of course, you'd take uh, more time if you were actually doing this for one of your pages, and you'd find things that were associated with the beach, and you'd put those as keywords. You might misspell um, some things because people would often misspell them. Like if you had attractions, um, you might want to spell that wrong because sometimes people search the wrong thing and it would actually help you uh, get your stuff found because um, they search the wrong thing and you're capitalizing on that misspelling. Uh, some search engines like Google uh, take and fix the spelling so it wouldn't help you there, but in some cases it's beneficial. All right, so what is all of this actually doing for you? Um, basically the descriptions and the keywords, if someone goes to a search engine searches uh, beachside attractions. Not only do you have it in your title, which go like Google's probably gonna look at the title first, but also you have it within your description and you have it within your keywords. Now I'm sure that beachside attractions is probably a highly uh, searched topic. So some people might um, show up in the engines before you. Um, some people might have paid for a spot higher than you, but you're gonna have a pretty good shot at being um, high up on that list, depending on a bunch of different um, variables. Google doesn't ever release that um, specifically in their algorithm, but we know that uh, keywords, description, title, things like that are highly um, valued in search engine data. So by taking and setting these uh, description and keywords, then you can help capitalize on the fact um, that Google's looking for those and it'll bring you more traffic in the end. So I just want to make a quick video talking about those because when you create like um, a new HTML file, it doesn't just it doesn't talk about that. And if you haven't heard about this, then you might be wondering why no one's finding your things via search engine. So I just wanted to put out a quick video describing these two tags um, and how how helpful they can be in getting you traffic to your website. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.